Hi everybody, today we are talking about uh, one of the, well, one of the cheapest buffets in Vegas. It's definitely, I, I, if it's not the cheapest, it's probably one of the very, 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 very cheapest buffets in Vegas. Um, we have eaten there several times for as little as one dollar. You can't go wrong. You can't even buy, you know, uh, a box, uh, a chocolate sometimes, a chocolate bar for that little. Um, so, uh, if you're in the area and you're tight, you know, you, you've spent all your money gambling, which sometimes we've done, um, and you want to just really eat something cheaply, that's probably one of the good choices. And that is the Palace Station Bate at the Palace Station. Now, that's not on the strip. Of course, you're not going to find a particularly cheap buffet on the Strip, let me tell you straight up. I mean, there are a couple of cheap buffets on the Strip, for example, the Excalibur and Ex in Imperial Palace, but they're not as cheap, I mean, at all. Uh, so, uh, if you really, really, really are on a tight budget, we're just to spend really, truly a few dollars, especially, for example, during the weekend, where somehow, you know, Vegas buffets are quite expensive and that's because you know the, the demand is huge and therefore they can afford to crank up the prices just as much as they do with the rooms so um, the Palace Station buffets I mean they have a lot of it, it, it targets a lot of locals so let me tell you off strip buffets um, they will have specials for locals uh, which will make you a little jealous and a little envious it certainly does me uh, locals can eat pretty much everywhere half price and sometimes for truly like two or three dollars and special um, special dates let me put it this way when they want to attract more traffic for example when it's like a low season in terms of tourists so you're not gonna get that but what you might be able to get which was what we always keep an eye out for is um, the local newspapers will just give coupons for, for several off-street buffets which you know they're gonna run it at a loss but they hope that by the time you get there and you've eaten you will gamble at their casino something that you would not have done otherwise because you wouldn't have gone there so um, that's what they're hoping that you do um, I do not regret eating for one dollar at the Palace Station buffet I was thrilled I mean where do you eat for that little and we found a, they'll tell you they're very generous that way you know um, they'll tell you oh you know there's a uh, there's a promotion running right now and uh, you can just go out and buy a local newspaper for a few cents and and get the the, the, the one dollar buffet coupon you will not find out about that until you are in Vegas so if you're in Vegas for say two or three weeks and or even just a week and you just have time to just shop around a little bit um, check out the local newspapers all the time because you will have special promotions from buffets which are off strip most of the time of course that works really well if you're driving because you can go anywhere but uh, these off street um, uh, resorts they either offer their own free shuttles to get there from the street so check that out or you can go there by bus, it's very easy if you're really on a tight budget and you don't want to wait for the free shuttle. Of course you can go and get a taxi there, but I wouldn't recommend it, simply because what's the point of going to a very, very cheap buffet to spend the money on a taxi, right? It makes no sense. So try and go there on the cheap, as I say, shuttles, their own free shuttles, or a, a bus, very easy. There are lots of buses going off strip. It's very, very simple. Now. Uh, so if you manage to get, you know, one of those offers on there, on the local newspaper, you probably eat there for a dollar or two, three tops, depending on what type of promotion they, they run. If you don't, if you don't go with any promotion, you might spend as much as seven dollars, but it's really cheap anyway. And, uh, surprisingly, you can get a, you know, a decent salad, you can make it yourself, which is, you know, you gotta think of health. You can't just have junk food. And then, you know, there's pizza, there, there are pasta dishes, there's, there's steak, you know, chips, and pretty much anything that you can find in a cheap buffet. Um, but, you know, you walk out of there and you don't think, oh my God, I've wasted money. I mean, it's okay, you know, you just get, you probably eat a lot better than if you go to a pizza place or a junk food or a, a joint or a fast food joint because what the palace station gives you it gives you a lot of fast food but it gives it to you at a very low price and you have a lot of choices on top of that you can have your fruit and your vegetables and your salad which will take care of your health needs so I think it's a better choice if you happen to be in the area or if you happen to go there for free or for cheap 
I would go. I would say go there, especially if if you really, you know, the budget budget is an issue. Then why not? You know, um, I would recommend it. Don't expect gourmet food. Don't expect food that you will remember for the rest of your life because it's not going to happen. But it's edible. You can eat it. It's fine for the price. It's a good deal. What else is there to be said? Um, over the weekend, if you're really on a budget, you want you may want to try a couple of downtown buffets. My favorite is the Main Street Station buffet, simply because. They have a large variety of food, which is important. Variety is important for a cheap price, and the quality is good. So that that's and it's a really cute place to go to. It's historically one of the landmarks of Las Vegas. Beautiful furniture, really, you know, takes you back in time. Really a good experience. I talk about all of this on the website top slash buffet dot com, and you'll find many many more details there. And of course, you'll also find uh, my tips to eat for free to get Vegas coupons for buffets and restaurants and so forth, and lots of other information about other aspects of Vegas if you're a tourist. We go there about four times a year. We love it, and we really want a good deal all the time, and I hope to share those good deals with you. Bye-bye.